Hi guys, in this tutorial, we're going to discuss about PyOTPC and learn how to read its data in MySQL using Pandas and CSV. So now, without any further ado, let's get started. To start with, we're going to create a small code to read all the drivers installed in our uh, ODBC. To do that, we need to create a new file, which is called, I'll name this one as lesson4 underscore pyodbc.py. For these requirements, I need to import pandas as pd. And import by ODBC. Then we need to list down our drivers, but I need to print first that print here that the list of ODBC drivers. Then with the variables of the list. Then I'm going to call the import with the properties of drivers. Then we need to list down. So for loop for drbr in the list. And from here you're going to print those drivers. Then to print. And of this. Very good. So if this is okay. Alright, let's run this code. Apply lesson four by old PC at PY. There you go. If for some reason that there's nothing in your driver, you need to download the specific driver that you need. For our example, I'll be using MySQL. So to get this driver, you need to go to the, to go to this uh, website or download the web the ODBC driver in this section here this one you need to google it and search for connector slash odbc and then once you search from this section here you need to pick the the operating system that you're currently use mine will be uh, mine is using windows 10 so i pick microsoft windows and with the 64 bit so i'm using 64 bit so this is my preference once installed then that should be okay but for some reason the new version of odbc uh, requires a visual studio c++ which is the higher version so to do that you need to download the visual studio c++ if if uh, if the installation of odbc driver has an error now for my version i'm using eight or the current version as of this recording is using i'm using 8.0.25 so the supported visual c++ for that is the 2019 version so in this section here you need to download the specific uh os uh if you are using 32 or 64 you should know which one here that should uh work that should work if you're going to install the this one first, then the ODBC. Okay, so if that's clear, you can check this again if you want to. So just review which part here is the problem installation. Just just to take note that the current version of this 8.0.25 supports a higher version of Visual C++. Okay, 
for now. Uh, let's continue with our lesson. Okay, going back here, since uh, this is our my list of drivers installed, so I have SQL Server, uh, MySQL, and MySQL, another SQL here. Now, out of these two here, since I'm going to use MySQL, out of these two selection here should work. You can use the ANSI driver, you can also use the Unicode driver. Okay, so let's start. To start with, I'm uh, going to show you what uh, MySQL that I'm using for this example. I'm using uh, Sham. You can use any MySQL uh, installation. So, but for my example, I'm using this uh, application. You can also use WAM or the built-in MySQL. Doesn't matter. So, as long there's a MySQL installed, that should work. So, to start. Usually, most developers, they use this uh, um, Others, they also use WAMP server. So, either most of these are also, also good for, for practice if you're going to practice some programming. Okay, for my reference, I'm going to use the, my database here. And I'm going to use these movies. So this is my sample data in movies. Okay. So take note, our database, I'm going to use my database and with a table of movies. Okay, so let's proceed. I'm going to, to create another file, which is lesson 5 score by ODBC. That PY. Okay. Now from here, going to import our pandas first. Since I'll be using panda to read this data. So next one going to import the PI ODBC. The next thing you need to do is I'm going to create a connection in this thing here. So SQL phone and pi ODBC. That connect. So here uh, what we need what we need to know is we need to know the driver. Driver, server, the UID, password, okay, I think that should do. Okay, for the driver, since I already list down our driver here, I'm going to use this first part here, the MySQL, this ANSI, per, ANSI driver. Copy. I'm going to close this here. Okay, that's our driver. Our server, by default, I'm using lookups. Close. User root. Password 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, the next thing we need to do is to perform a query. Our query is select all from 
movies. Okay. Now I'm going to hold that in our data frame. So df plus the pd that read SQL and with the query also with the connection. Okay. So now we have this one. I need to check first the output. So print df that head. Okay. So I'm going to print our output in our data frame here. And let's try. This will be find lesson five underscore PyODBC that we want. Let's hit enter. Okay, Mojo Pandal has no attribute name. No attribute name. Let's check. Uh, Py Pandal has PD. Mojo Panda has no attribute read SQL. Oh, this should be read underscore SQL. And save. Let's clear again. And enter. Okay, so we have an error because select all from movies. Select all from movies. No database selected. Oh yeah, we did not in indicate our database. So this one don't know which where to get that movies. Here you need to call database. So a while ago I mentioned our database. It's my database. Database. Save. That should work now. Clear and enter there you go so since this is now working i'm going to save this as csp so to do that I'm going to check our previous example that? okay so here I'm going to copy this one here For those who did not uh, get this part here, review our previous chapter on how to read uh, read uh, Pandas data frame to any version. So since I'm going to use CSV, so I'm going to convert that to CSV. Now I'm going to say, oh, uh, let's say my SQL data. Save. So I'm going to save all the uh, information to MySQL or or save as MySQL underscore data dot csp. Let's try. Clear and enter. There you go. Notice that it auto creates the MySQL data here. So if we check the data. There you go. So uh, that's it. So uh, on the next part, we're going to review more about PyODBC. But for now, if you find this video informative, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And see you guys on next video series. Cheers.